Big nights for Jackie Pappert and Maggie Collins. Platte Valley, one of the final eight teams left in Class 1 now. Well, ladies, you guys get another win over Stanberry. Your thoughts? Um, I mean, we came into the game ready for good competition, working together, and um, never letting down, I guess. Yeah, we knew coming in that no matter what the score was, they were never going to back down. So we just had to come out with that fire and intensity that we knew they were going to bring. Yeah, it was kind of a, a fast start for you guys. You are able to get some things going defensively. How huge was that? Um, I mean, defense is our strong suit. We spend most of our time. And then, uh, I mean, staying down, staying ready for whatever they bring us. Yeah, Peterson always tells us to take big pride in our defense, to really push other teams and force them to make big plays, and that's what we try to do every game. You guys had a, a big night in the paint. Uh, I think you combined for 32 between the two of you. Was that something coming in tonight you thought was a possibility to have a, a big night? I mean, we always know we have size on most people, and working together we always have each other's backs. Uh, we definitely expected them to be as physical as they were, and so we just came in there prepared to um, play our strongest game. One of the final eight teams uh, undefeated as well going into it. What do you guys? What do you think you guys are capable of? I mean, we said it at the beginning of the year. Our goal is to make it all the way. As of right now, we still have one game seasons. So we're just going to continue to do what we do best and hopefully get to our goal at the end. Now you're a team, playing a team the second time. Um, just how did you like how uh, they adjusted to what they did against you the first time and uh, came out here and came away with a bigger win? Yeah, I mean, uh, th this time this time of year is all about adjustments and, and all about preparation. And I felt like, you know, at the start of the game, both teams were definitely prepared and familiar with what you know, the other team's strengths were, um, you know, I, I just felt like we, we needed to really come in and match their intensity and match their physicality because that's, Stanbury plays great, great defense and they're, they're capable of being physical and I feel like we did that. Stanbury played pretty good first quarter overall, uh, obviously you guys were leading, but just being able to withstand and, and still lead coming out of that first quarter, what's that say about this time? You know, I, I think that's, this time of year we know we're going to play a good team and you kind of got to expect that, you're not going to put the games away in the first quarter. And it's, it's kind of a process. And, and, you know, we've got good leadership with, with the girls. They, you know, very focused. And because of that, the, the team's focused. Don't think it's any secret to say this game maybe won in the paint with the post play. Big nights for Jackie and Maggie. They couldn't get anything going inside. Was that something you thought could maybe be a strength of your guys, not only tonight but throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're, we're – we have a lot of different girls that can score in different ways and and you know we just kind of recognize and the girls are unselfish and they move the basketball and they're going to take what's there and you know I, um, Maggie and Jackie's post play has has developed throughout the course of the season it's, it's gotten a lot better and that just makes us a lot better especially when we're hitting shots from the perimeter you know we had uh, Stephanie Turpin knock down some shots we had some of the same usual girls knocking down shots from the perimeter so that's that's really helpful when you can score in different ways I mean, as far as stanbury i i they, they shot really well they shot it really well and you know, that's a tribute to the work that they put in the season to develop that and uh jackie kind of is taking a back seat in some of these games uh she might be your third or fourth leading scorer i'm not sure but in the big games it seems like she always especially gets started strong she had the first five of this one so big is that knowing that she's kind of been there done that before and you know you can count on her I think I think you know that just kind of you know speaks to what this team's about. And Jackie was our leading scorer last year, and there were points in the season where she was our leading scorer. But you know I don't think that team's this team is focused on that. They're focused on you know moving the ball and getting the, the ball to the open shot. And you know she's a she's a big game player. I know she's going to come to play, and and you know that's just a great weapon to have. How big of a spark did Briley provide there in the first quarter to be able to drop ten quick ones? She, you know, she, she gives us instant offense, and it's, it's very valuable to have her come in off the bench. And offensively, she's, she's you know, very confident. Um, but it, probably where she's come the, the furthest is on the defensive side. You know, she's, she's gotten to where she can, she can flat guard, and that's definitely helpful. Neither of your freshmen really, uh, they seem like they both really like these big game environments. And uh, this kind of unique thing to see how a couple freshmen, but Riley especially, I feel like she has her biggest games against Wellington, Napoleon, and Maryville, all those. So um, just talk about that a little bit and their mindset coming in and uh, being able to do that as freshmen. 
you know, I, it speaks to the, the type of competitor they are. You know, I, we, we talk about when a game's tipped, it's a it's a basketball game. And, and, you know, the message in the locker room was, hey, we're prepared. We've, we've worked really hard all season for this. We're prepared. Um, I think it I think it just speaks to, you know, their teammates and some of those upperclassmen who can give them some confidence and maybe calm them down in those situations. But, I mean, you're right. Uh, both of them seem to just come out and, you know, do their job. You guys are now headed to a state quarterfinal. Uh, what's it going to take? Well, we're not sure who we're going to play, but we know we're going to play a good team. Um, it's going to take an effort like that. We're going to have to win the battle of the boards. We're going to have to execute and take care of the basketball.